Pisces. Pisces. Here are two swimming fishes. And actually sushi is my favorite food. But we're not talking about food, we're talking about the zodiac sign. The last one. So, uh, Pisces. They are really gentle people, really soft, really romantic, really soft-hearted. They are so in love into the whole idea of love. They are so like overwhelmed in the whole idea of relationship and partnership and be with somebody and holding hands and just sitting next to each other and just laugh and just be together. They are so they are fantasizing about love. They are the most romantic sign on the whole zodiac. They are they are so trustworthy and trusting people that it's really easily actually take it to manipulate them. It's so easy. It's so easy to let them on. It's so because they are so forgiving. Even if there is somebody bad or there is some evilness around them, they always they always gonna forgive and always gonna find the pureness in it. Because it's so hard for them to believe there are some mean people in this world. There are some criminals. There are bad people. There's somebody that want bad, bad things. And they refuse to believe in that. That's why they tend to kind of live like in their own bubble, in their own Pisces bubble. And then just like swimming harmonically in the water, in the ocean, you know, looking for their mate to fall in love and just to the whole idea of it make them their butterfly last long, long, long. Um, Pisces usually like you'll see them when they're in love, they sort of like wearing those pink hearted glasses because it just shows all over their face and their eyes and the whole body language is like so loving. They're so caring. So just because they're so feeling for other people and they really feel bad if there is something something mean happening, that it's really good for for them to work like in a profession that it's like caring, something to take care of somebody, to listen to somebody, even psychiatrists, just to listen to people's problem and to feel for them. Um, Pisces is very very um, imaginative people. You know, they, they, their imagination is so high is, and so strong that sometimes they just, like in their own world, in their own bubble, they're just imagining things. That's why they're really creative people. They're really good with art. There's a lot of artistic people. They love colors. They love um, harmony, happiness, just hope, you know, always very positive people, full of love, full of happy orange energy. They're really good uh, lovers, really good um, partners because they're very faithful. They'll never cheat on you. They're always going to be there for you. They always You can always rely on them and they always adore you. When they're in the relationship with somebody, the partner they're with, they literally like that idolize the, the person. They like, they feel like it's their idol and they like literally going to worship them. They'll do everything for them. Just because they so get into it, into the whole idea of love and just, you know, like, do whatever the other person wants, they forget about their own needs. they losing themselves in the relationship. They tend to lose themselves and because they're overly, a little bit overly doing it and overworking it, they find themselves with a broken heart, they find themselves disappointed in people. And then they're forgetting it, and then again, they let somebody else into their life, they behave the same way, their heart gets broken, they get upset, and they just refuse to believe there's some, something evil. There are some people that are just different personality, they think that everybody should be so happy and harmonical and loving just the way they are. Um, they need to learn how to upstage that they need to learn how to you know not be so forgiving just don't be so blind to things they are so um forgiving they are so innocent they're really innocent people they it's just so easy to manipulate them if there is something happen and someone would pretend and act as they're their friends when on the other in their in their bag they just talking bad stuff like talking shit so the Pisces is just gonna forgive, you know, and it's a bad thing because that's why 
they get so much like heartbreak and so much bad karma from people around them because they're just so forgiving and so loving if you want the Pisces to really fall for you you will basically first of all you'll see it because they're so loving and the Pisces girl usually she won't show it much but you just could see it from her eyes she would be kinda like quiet about it and she would just like talk about other issues and joke around but you could feel the happy energy from her and you could feel like this bubbly bubbly like feeling like euphoria sort of energy um, everything romantic is acceptable they're so romantic that they everything romantic for them is just like ultimate you know dream come true and just the ultimate feeling so you can just write a letter and put some perfume on it bring some flowers send some kisses in the mail uh, take them for sushi and order the love roll or sex on the beach or um, you know hot sake and stuff like that just everything romantic is acceptable here is Julia has enough and now it's up to you to find your love